Hey everyone, and thank you for attending another installment of the BCFS webinar series. Today we'll be focusing on Trimble's Connect AR. Before we get into it, let's do some introductions. Myself, Jason Labonte, I work on the channel development side of Trimble. Lee Corsack will be interviewing later from the DC Bean Construction Company on his implementation for Connect AR. In today's installment, we'll be covering these five main topics about Connect AR. First, starting with the product intro, feature overview, examples of Connect AR, FAQs, and ending with a compelling interview with Lee Corsack. First off, what exactly is Connect AR, and maybe even in its infancy, what is augmented reality? Unlike virtual reality or VR, you can still see your surroundings while also seeing a one-to-one -one digital version of your model around you. So what we're trying to do here is provide the BIM model or 3D, 2D model that you have of your construction site and depict that in a real one-to-one -one scale out on site. This would provide a far more immersive experience than trying to read plans on site or just viewing the model virtually on a tablet. With the multitude of industries Trimble works in, it's important to point out that Connect AR is agnostic when it comes to common formats in BIM, as shown here. Along with that, the app, which can be found in both app stores, will work with both Apple and Android devices, something all of us usually have on a job site. More on the compatible models later in this presentation. AR tools are meant to bridge the physical gap, connecting constructible data between the office and field, Trimble's mixed reality portfolio empowers customers to do more with the data they have, amplifying and accelerating the return on investment in their digital transformation journey. Ultimately, our goal is to continue to connect field and office as much as possible. This helps make your office data actionable on site while providing ever important insight or feedback to the office. Many of you may have seen our MR solution, the Trimble XR10, shown in the right hand photo on this slide. This tech is still readily available while Connect AR fills the gap between the full immersive experience with the XR10 and traditional model, model viewing that you see on the left hand side there. Now let's get into some features. If you've ever heard of Trimble Connect, the cloud based and desktop platform remains the nucleus of your data collaboration. Connect is our common data environment and collaboration platform designed specifically for the construction industry. In this sense, the models viewed in the field will live here within a project. In the field, you can capture to-dos, as shown there, which will then upload to Connect and can be reviewed back at the office. As far as placing your model on site or how to actually get your virtual model into the real world, there are a few ways to do this, but we highly recommend the use of QR markers, which you can see in that first photo. You can consider these control points used to anchor the virtual model, and we'll see how this works in some upcoming animated examples. After model alignment, there are a multitude of different tools within the app, including a transparency and cross-section toggle to do a, Q a quick QA, QC check and see how your project is progressing. Lastly, in the feature overview highlights, you're able to take measurements along with recordings as built info for positioning, lengths, and areas. So let's get into some actual examples. And here we have a video for you that'll actually walk you through on how to get that virtual model out on site. So initially, we're gonna be placing a QR marker on an object that's physically actually in the field that you're gonna be viewing. So within this model, we've placed that QR code. Typically, it's an offset of an actual corner. You then, then print out the actual QR code to be put out on site. And you'll see in this next frame, that you then bring it out to the job site and measure to that specific point. Now, if you're already loaded with a total station, you're ahead of the game here, you can actually locate that QR marker if there's a point within field link and very accurately place that QR code marker as opposed to utilizing a tape measure, though tape measure is okay in this case. So as you can see, after she anchors the model or utilizing it as a control point, she now has her 3D model out on site to visualize what things are gonna look like before they're even installed. And as we move along, we'll see another example upcoming in the next video. So this video gets a little bit more involved on the application side. This is another QR code marker for a different model. Once that's placed, you're now able to see all the different trades here. You can see some mechanical piping there as well. Uh, and you're gonna be seeing some toggling between transparency, 
cross-section and also field of view. So you can see that we're coming back in and going back out. You'll see the transparency move next to see more of the model or less of the model. And then there'll be a cross-section view to peel back the, the figurative onion here. Here, you can see an outside application and also see some underground work there. This is showing a facade of a constructed building and also the pylons going into the ground there. Like it's progressing well. You can see you can click attributes here. So the metadata that, that you've uploaded into your model will also be selectable in the field to see a little bit more information on what's going on out there. Right down to the level of steel. So now instead of utilizing that uh, shell of a model, you can now see the actual structure and how that aligns out on site too. This can be either during build, after the build, uh, as you see fit. Again, QA, QC checks, or if you wanted to depict the model to an end user to show them what it's gonna look like before uh, completion. To wrap it up, we'll do a quick run through of other applications. You've already seen the construction validation with that building. But I wanted to bring up that we see this a lot in prefab manufacturing. Well, a little quick, that GIF that shows the rebar there on the table, uh, they can align that with the model to make sure that the span and shape, what have you, uh, is in alignment with what they designed. Uh, in the top right hand corner, the 2D and 3D comparison, you can actually bring on 2D files so you can view PDFs on site too, uh, which is sometimes very helpful if that's all you have in the beginning. Moving right along. The latest capability here, which is pretty cool, is getting back to the total station. If you've already laid out points, you can get that point data now via Connect AR. So that way there can be a secondary QAQC of the points you laid out and where they are in space. If there was anything staked uh, incorrectly, you can go back and revisit that location. Uh, great for after the fact checking as you can see here. Getting into the FAQs here as promised, uh, here's a review of what works. While Navis integration is mentioned to still be in beta phase, it can still be uploaded and we have users. Lee will actually touch on that in his interview upcoming. Um, it can be uploaded through Connect Desktop and manipulated there for use. So rest assured, um, you can certainly use coordinated models in this viewer. Also as promised, supported devices. So you can see here the technology um, limitations of older devices, though this does go back a, a bit as far as what devices are compatible, all the way back to the iPhone 6S at this current recording, we're at the 14. So that certainly gives you a decent span of technology. Last but not least, uh, licensing, some new changes this year. We now offer project-based licensing on top of named user licensing. Uh, you can see the differences there. If you'd like uh, any more information on pricing, please reach out to your local uh, Trimble contact from there. Without further ado, please listen in on the great conversation I had with Lee Korsak of DC Bean about their impressive integration and future of Connect AR. Well, Hello everyone. Uh, today we have with us Lee Korsak with DC Bean Construction out of Charleston, Massachusetts. Lee is the construction simulation manager for DC Bean and has been using Connect AR for a little over a year now. We'll be covering a few topics related to Connect AR and I wanted to thank Lee most of all for taking the time out of his very busy schedule to chat with us today. Before we get into how Lee has been utilizing Connect AR though, I'd have to ask, before your team started utilizing it, was DC Bean already using Trimble Connect at all? And if so, no. for what purpose? Yeah, no, no we weren't. Um, although we, there's a lot of great things uh, that we see with Trimble Connect AR, and we, we might integrate more of it in the future. Mm -hmm. No, it's, uh, we hadn't used anything uh, like it. Yeah, I, I, I hadn't thought so. So, um, yeah. no, that, that's good to hear. And I guess ultimately, how has DCB been utilizing Connect AR? So, well, I mean, obviously, Connect AR does a lot more than just the AR, right? So, um, 
but we've primarily been using just the AR features of it. So it's the typical bring in a Navisworks model or more Revit or um, thankfully now that that's uh, progressed um, and we're able to get Revit models in and, and um, BWGs in the model as well. And um, placing the QR codes and then putting them on site and using the AR functions. Um, and it's been phenomenal, but it's, that that's really like just, I mean, that, as much as that's a major feature of Connect AR, this, it can do a whole lot more, um, but we don't utilize any of those, mostly because we don't have the Connect AR or the, the Trimble Connect, all the full features of it, of Trimble Connect. Um, mm -hmm. You know, doing um, uh, like adding notes that we might add some notes into the Connect AR when we're, when we're using the application in the field, but those need to be translated into, we use Procore for our project management. So mm -hmm. we need to translate those over. If we were using Trimble Connect, it would be seamless, you know? Um, but it's a, it's a great tool to be able to, to reference your field notes um, without having to write them down, but you do need to double up on that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of great, uh, a lot of great, features with Pen with Trimble Connect, um, but we don't utilize them all at the time, at this time. Understood. No, sounds good. Uh, is this the first AR product that DC Bean has used? Or um, I guess if you have, how does it compare to others that you've used too? <clears throat> so it's the first one that we've officially used, if you could say it, like we bought into, right? Um, mm -hmm. But we demoed a bunch of stuff. Um, we we did a lot of research in relation to when we were when we were buying the scanner and where what we were going to we have a, a, a an X7 so we when we were thinking about what the future of of this department I'm part of the VDC department so what the future of the department was um, with relation to scanning and AR and VR <clears throat> we looked at a lot of companies and a lot of different solutions. And some of them were third party products that weren't connected to a scanner, let's say like Trimble offers scanners and there are other companies that offer scanners and also sell AR stuff. Um, so, but it just, Trimble just made the most sense. It was a uh, turnkey, everything was uh, well thought out, user friendly, very user friendly um, and it seemed as though you were, uh, Trimble was very, uh, um, how do I put it? They were invested in it, right? So um, they they felt as though that this was going to be a long-term product. So that's why we chose it. Um, but it was, we did demo some other stuff and just didn't really get the warm and fuzzy with with that product. Appreciate so that. And with that, though, we, we did meet with some other people uh, with a client walkthrough. Um, they had um they had people from their from vdc departments and engineers and they were working with um with one of our clients on overseas and um uh, when we were demoing uh what we were what we were doing and the success that we were having using connect ar they were completely blown away they were they had a totally different approach and um, completely changed their mind after we demoed. And um, we set, I guess we could say we set them straight. <laughs> and, um, so hopefully their, uh, you know, their overseas projects are, are going as well as ours, you know, so. For sure. Oh, I love that. Awesome. And then I, you've actually already alluded to this a little bit already. Um, I guess, what about Connect AR has helped improve your projects thus far? Oh well, it's again, it's given our clients uh, much more clarity as to what the project is. I mean, you know, it's you're going to typical construction project, right? You know, let's say it's pharmaceutical uh, manufacturing, and you walk the uh, whether you know it's the the, the PMs or um, <clears throat> the facilities guys, and you walk them through, and you sort of point at the ceiling, and this is that, you know, this is where this is going, and you know, you show the progress. But when you can walk through the site in AR, then it's, it's an entire, it's an, it's entirely different, right? So uh, they, it, it, 
the questions are reduced, you know, the the, the required feedback to the owners or the or the or anybody who's who's interested in the project, right? Um, it could be uh, owners of the of the space, right? You have scientists that might own a lab, and um, the the only thing that they've seen are maybe some three D renderings that are printed out or a or two D CAD, and they don't really they can't really comprehend the space, like how far. Are, is my bench from that wall? Am I going to be able to get a cart through? So being able to to walk through it is it, it's a game changer because you you reduce the the rework later on in the project. You get these things answered early. Now I think that some of this should have been done during the architectural phase of it, but you know when you're doing design build, um, it's it certainly is um, you, the times times are constraints are really tight and the um, um, the decisions that need to be made are important. So if you can get feedback from the interested parties early and using Connect AR allows us to do that. They, um, we uh, And the response that we've been getting from the owners and all of the interested parties have been phenomenal. And um, the, the, the changes that have been made along the way have been um, critical because we've been able to uh, make adjustments way ahead of time. And you're not opening up walls or ceilings or rerunning pipe or electrical because a use point wasn't quite in the right spot. You know, but they didn't know it was going to be that far away. Now you get all those answers uh, early on, and it it saves everybody time and money. You know, awesome. No, and I, I could definitely see. I mean this is being implemented now and my next question would be how could you utilize this in the future uh i assume a lot more of that and coordinating and making sure you're not you know having that coordination beforehand before issues arise um but i guess looking forward do you, could you see this expanding into other realms or, or how how would it do that for you oh absolutely so uh, we we've, we've got great plans for for implementing connect AR, and hopefully you guys continue to expand on the product and offer more features um, that will benefit some of this. But and we've 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 made workarounds and such to be able to uh, to make it useful for us. But we've used it with facilities maintenance crews walkthroughs, right? So um, they can scan a QR code. I mean, it's a permanent QR code. We've done it during construction projects, but the, you know, there's no reason why the QR code can't be permanent, right? So you have a QR code on a column or on a wall or something, the facilities guy scans it with his iPad. And then, cause he knows he's got a filter change on a, a you know, a unit that it's above ceiling in a lab, but it's maybe it's not exactly sure where it might be. So he can find it with connect AR and then he can make adjust, you know, make plans with the, the owners of the space and say, I need to get in here on a certain date and this is where I need to be and not wasting time popping ceiling tiles and things like that. Um, we can tag equipment, um, of course, with, because it's it's smart, right? It has all of the data from uh, from Revit. So if it if it has uh, any of the uh, the information related to parts information or when uh, equipment needs to be um, maintained, um, who the vendor is, uh, things like that, when it was installed, what the warranty is, all of that information is still is is available if if they want to implement that all available from the iPad and they look up at it and they go, Oh, that belt was just changed last week on a, a maintenance. So I don't have to do it. I thought, you know, so, but so that's just in the construction world. That's one thing, right? You've also got, let's say fire departments, right? So um, we've done, we're on a, doing an underground utility project for one of our clients. And we, what we did was we, we did the um, the ad, we took the as built uh, DWGs and um, we modeled those in um, uh, civil AutoCAD civil, and then we took the um, the GPR uh, data that we got and we overlaid the GPR with the as builts, and we realized that the as builts were were not lining up with the GPR. So which one's right? I mean, we're kind of trusting the GPR, but you shouldn't ignore the as-built either, you know? So um, it, it, 
so just by simply by walking the site, you can see where, you know, the underground where the it could be electrical uh, bank, uh, fire protection water, it could be, you know, uh, sewer drain, things like that. And walking the site gives you a, and you have, you know, you, know, you can click on a valve and it gives you data about the valve. Uh, what spaces it serves inside the building? If you shut that that valve off, things like that. So, so that's great for we feel for fire departments as as well as uh, municipalities and um, other high hazard work could be uh, gas companies or electrical companies with underground electrical utility or even overhead. Um, they could go up to a utility or some piece of equipment, scan a QR code, and um instantly get some uh some augmented reality lining up with the existing conditions space um and well we've also used our scanner and imported that and you can overlay um scan data with the any navis works ddwgs revit files things like that all to combine together to give you a vast amount of information so um so i think having this incredible amount of resource data can apply to all kinds of of of, of organizations whether they're whether it's municipality or fire or um electrical so so yeah we and you know we're, we're we're implementing it in everything so um no matter how big or how small the job is we're we're finding a way to implement it. And then we we provide as part of our as built um, the AR that we produce. So um, and we give them the QR codes, the locations. If they then want to do a follow up with us on uh, modifying those QR codes and alignments, then um, we we provide that as well. Impressive. Awesome. No, lead. I mean, this is why we wanted to have DC being on this call because literally you guys are at the bleeding edge of, of Connect AR and their capability and implementing that with the scanning technology from Trimble as well. Uh, and certainly it seems the sky's the limit as far as what your capabilities are. Um, but yeah, no, again, I appreciate all your commentary today. If there's anything else you'd like to comment on before we go, otherwise we can let you back to uh, what you do best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. Jason, like, you know, I, I can't say enough about about Trimble, uh, the response time related to any issues that we might have, whether it's with software or hardware issues, which are very far and few between. But of course, they 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 do come up on. Um, but it's uh, you guys are right on it. So. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. We definitely feel like we made the right choice with going with Trimble. We interviewed a bunch of companies. We tried out a bunch of equipment. Um, the the ease of use and the accuracy of Trimble's software and hardware makes it so easy to be able to just with a one day training, you can get somebody to to scan something because you you know I, maybe I don't have or somebody else in our department doesn't have time to get to a uh to a facility to do an important scan you know within an, an hour you can you can teach somebody how to use the equipment and then at least get us the the, the point cloud data or the a or the ar data set it you, know, you can set up the qr codes it's all so user friendly that it's approachable for for any company at any size awesome and yeah. we uh, i can't say enough about trimble so um you guys have been great Appreciate that feedback. Well, there you have it, everybody. I appreciate your time again, Lee. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you later.